Hello and welcome. Let me just get this set up. Why is this wee black dot still here? Come on Jetix, remove that. The OB cape still renders through the Guthen skirt this late on. Anyway, hello and welcome to a brand new video. Speaking of like pixels rendering through stuff, I have got something pretty cool for you guys today. It's a completely different video than one I've ever done on this channel before. We have found some like artificial intelligence software, self-learning software that adds pixels to images, makes images higher quality. How crazy is that? We're going to try it out on loads of different stuff in the game and then we're going to try it in the cat because he's cute and stuff. So yeah, it's a completely different video than anything I've done before, but hopefully you guys enjoy it. I think it'll be a load of fun. Let's jump straight into it and try improve the quality of some stuff in old school runescape. Oh, before we jump into old school runescape, I should probably tell you what the software is. So it's from these people called Topaz Labs and it's called Gigapixel AI. It's self-learning hardware that knows what certain things look like, like rocks, trees, water, what they should look like. And then it makes blurry images look more like that. Or even high detail images, it adds a bit more detail and pixels into the image. Pretty crazy. I'm just using the free trial. If any of you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description. Not sponsored or anything. I just checked this out the other day and think it's pretty awesome. So yeah, let's see what we can do in old school RuneScape. So I thought we best start, oh there's a boy from the CC. If we're going to make a high quality image, we'd best start off with a self face so we don't need like buy a GF or G or anything. So we're going to crack out with a few images here in game, whack them into this software and see what happens. So we're starting with a full image of us and Guthens. Right, so we'll whack the two images in here and we'll just be using this preview option to see how we get on. We'll start over here at the wall and then we we'll work our way down. So yeah, it just tidies up all the lines. It takes this blurry image in the left, just smooths out everything. It knows where stuff should be. Tidies up the grass, even though it just has a couple of pixels to play with and even tries to add some like detail into them. Some shading, some blur and stuff like that. It's just, you'd wonder how it gets this smart. We'll start with the feet here, because I know people love feet pictures. Look at that, just crisp, clean, all the blurs, all the edges tidied up. You just wonder how it knows to do this stuff. Bit of leg action, bit of skirts. Now RuneScape doesn't have the highest quality so it doesn't have a load to work with but it even tries to add detail to the shield that isn't there. All the lines are smoother, all the edges are smoother, the cape, the background. Not insane quality, it's not like RuneScape HD. I'm very impressed with what it's done with the boots. Like because they're a new item they have loads more detail than some of the old stuff. But yeah, it's just how, like you can get how it would know how to smooth things out but it actually adds in colors and stuff like the fury has some shading and stuff there it's just completely blurred you can't see any of the outline yeah pretty awesome i'd love to know what would happen if jetx like ran every single model in the game through this software would it just make them all higher quality or would it wreck the game here's a few dudes from nightmare zone have ran through let me just put that up times six it takes a second to process but let's see what it does all right so it has tidied up this boy loads on the left here then trapped soul i think he is another one from the zaya quest it's probably because he's a newer image they're much better at doing graphics and all nowadays than they were back in the day when they brought this dude out but that one on the left is insane from this blurry image on the left here to this that's pretty awesome the hand looks pretty cool the face it's just added in loads of shading loads of images from this blurry one to that the snake's done a real job. Let me zoom in here so I can show you what I mean. And the belt even looks pretty cool, but the snake doesn't even have much colouring in here and it's added like a green glow, loads of background, loads of shading, loads of art. How does it know to do this stuff? I know this isn't the most insane example. I am going to chuck in some fan art after it because I think the more pixels it has to work with, the cooler it'll be. Add a bit of a weird idea. What if I run this image through a second time? Will it add more detail to it again? So this actually scales things. So if you want to like blow up an image and make it massive, you can put it through a few times and then put it up on a wall or something. But yeah, I ran it through a second time and it's a lot more zoomed in now because it made it bigger. It makes the files insanely big. It went from 1.5K to 200K, the size of the image, you know, from the first render. I'm not sure if it has added much detail the second time. Let me zoom in here and see. It actually has, so if you run it through a second time, although that kind of looks like a watercolour, it's trying to add image. It does load to the rocks and all in a second path. Uh, yeah, it kind of messed up a wee bit. It doesn't know exactly what to do, probably because it's a game. But maybe if you ran through real images a second time, it'll probably make them really cool. Let me just see the snake here and then we'll hop on to something else. Yeah, it's, it's a bit messed up in the second one. It's like trying to add in details, but 
it's not exactly sure what it's trying to make it like because it's ran through. It does actually do okay with the outlines. But anyway, I'm going to run this piece of fan art I've found that looks pretty awesome through it just to see how powerful this program is. We will do loads more stuff in the game and if you have any suggestions of anything you want to see chucked through it, just let me know. I might do a second one of these. This here is from Legend Arts 2017. Really cool image. It's got a boy in full armadil there, boy in full bandos, some dude in full rune with an elder maul. And then like a boy in full Torags with the Dim's Ball work. Just loads of different stuff going on in the one picture. We're going to jump in it and see what it does to all these boys. Right, so whack this in. Let's see. We'll focus on some bits of the image. Let it process and then see what it does. So it adds loads more detail. Tidies up the lines to like the helmet and all. This would be crazy. Imagine taking a photo with like a 10 megapixel camera. And then it printing out a 20 or 30 megapixel image. Pretty crazy. Look at that. Like the whole strength ami is just blurred the hair's blurred everything's blurred in this left image and that's not done by this software that's the image i've put in it and then it just tidies it up i wonder why it's added lightning to the strength ami there's a tiny bit there but it's like added wee shakes and lightning to it that's a bit weird maybe it like takes reference points of the twisted bow because the twisted bow has like lightning running off it kind of really blurred much tidier over here actually so maybe it's seen that it's done that to the twisted bow and decided that they're supposed to be like bits of lightning running through the strength on me. Can you see that? Maybe I need to zoom in a wee bit. Oh, it's going to be hard to hit. Oh, you can drag as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's like added loads of lightning and stuff. It looks pretty weird whenever it's fully zoomed in, but it looks way better. And even the rune chain mail, you know, added loads of extra detail in there than this blurry image. But yeah, let's see what else is in here. Our little helmet is just tidied up. The bow probably just tidied up. Let's see if we can see the glory in there tidied up the arm so if you're really bad at art you could just make a blurry art image stick it in this here and it'll come out tidy i'm sure there's going to be loads more of these coming out in the future that are like better but it's probably one of the first self-learning software that like processes images it's added loads of reflections to the eyeball so maybe it thinks even though it's a picture it knows that's an eye and it knows it's supposed to be shinier than the other one but it's took this blurry image, tidied up everything and added in all that. It's pretty crazy. Let's see what else is in here. Right, Kodai Wand. Look at that there. That looks really hard to do anything with. Let me see if it does anything there. It just tidies up all these lines, even though they're running through the sky. Makes the inside a wee bit brighter. And then adds loads of detail to these wee flickers. That's just crazy. How does it know to do these things? Pretty awesome. I think this would be really cool if they actually got processing software like i tried to do this image and it took about 10 minutes once computers get quality what would you call it high enough processing power to be able to do this with video files or to do it with game files it could like render them in higher quality whilst you're playing them in real time be pretty awesome but it actually as a head and all uh, it's not really done a massive pile it's tidied up the beard and all to him but yeah anyway we'll jump back into runescape see if there's anything else there is there anything else in this image you want to look at first I hate the way the preview you can only go into times 50. It'd be cool if you could go smaller so you could actually see the whole image in one go if it's like a big file. Uh, I've seen the shield. Claws, maybe. Uh. Anyway, we'll jump back into RuneScape, see what else we can find. Maybe the fur. Yeah, it's just added loads of detail to the fur. It kind of works out what something's supposed to look like and then adds it in. Right, let's quick fire a load of images and then we'll see loads in this video. So the Phoenix pet, let me zoom out here because you can't really see much when I'm that far in. Phoenix pet's head, uh, I think it looks as good in the first image to be honest. It's done good work with the claws at the bottom there. It's definitely added in loads of shade because it's just grey and light grey there. But there it has like blacks and all and greys going in. The head, I'll close this preview so you can see. A little bit better, not much though. I think it's because there's not many pixels in the pet. Pets are tiny already. Let's see what it's done over here. Whip. I'll quick fire through loads of stuff and then we can see. So yeah, again, just added a few extra pixels. You can't really see it when it's at 50%, but if I zoom into 400. And then what will we look at? I'll go up and look at the amulet here if I can find it. It's hard to see what I'm looking at when I'm that far in, actually. That is a boot. <laughs> right, there's the amulet. So it's worked out that this grey is supposed to be metal and it's trying to make a chain there. You can see where it's like... Change from these little tiny grey pixels into some type of metallic thing. It's definitely trying, but it hasn't realised that it should have done the same on this side. But that's pretty impressive to work out from a couple of grey squares that this is supposed to be a chain. Probably knows that this here is a like, person. 
But yeah, you can't really notice when it's fully zoomed out. It's like adding in all this detail that you would not notice in a small image, which is pretty weird. The boot hasn't done a big pile. What about the Slayer Helm? So Slayer Helm's bound to have done loads. Because it's got a load of detail in it already. Can't really see much again at 50, so maybe it's not really worth it in old school RuneScape because the screen's so small. Yeah, there it looks like a complete Halo Helm. It's like added in loads of shading and textures and all in the background versus this pixelated image. Kind of looks like something that came from Halo. Find this dude looking like an absolute boss. I don't even know what that top is, but he looks pretty cool. I'm going to whack him and see. Also got full corrupted on my own account just to see what it thinks when it's like see-through. If it messes up and tries to add details of the cape or of the thing at the front. Don't know if this video is a massive fail because old school RuneScape isn't the best detail. But I know the software is not a fail. There's loads of cool stuff you can do with it. It was really cool in that fan art. And if you want to like blow up a massive picture of something you like and be able to put it in the wall, I think that's pretty awesome. So yeah, let's try this and see how we get on. Alright, let's get started with this big image. We will start with me. I'm in the middle here. I'm quite translucent so I'm not sure what will actually make of this, if it'll try to render in the background or if it'll see the image. So it's found the fury but it hasn't added any metallic that it can see at 100. Let me zoom into 200 here and have a closer look. Yeah so maybe because I'm translucent it doesn't know this one's a body. It's added a bit of shading in on the left and the right, tried to make it a wee bit more rounded. But yeah it's not noticed the cape much at all. It's even... Oh well I suppose that's how it looks in the first image. It can't really add much that's not there, it just tries to tidy it up. It's made that line much darker. Yeah, I think it's struggling with this. But so is the original image. I think Corrupted Armor is just a very strange one for anything to try to deal with. Shield just added, tidied up the lines, the knees. Yeah, it, pretty much the same, just in slightly better detail. I don't know if it's a bit of a fail comparing this in RuneScape, because I think how this software works is kind of like how Tesla's self-driving cars work. It has a reference point of millions of images, right? And it knows by looking at those images what everything's supposed to be. But obviously none of those images are RuneScape characters, so it's just trying to decipher what something is based on probably not having the right information. Here it hasn't noticed at all that that's an ami, but I'm not surprised, it's just a few white pixels. Messed up at the back bottom here by adding like green in behind and stuff like that, trying to give it shade. It's tidied up the lines perfectly on everything really though. But yeah, I don't know what happened there with the strength on me. It's just got loads of greens and blacks that aren't there. It's really weird. Yeah, like how does it get from this to this? And why does it think that looks better? I suppose it's because it's a computer game. If that was in real life and it was adding the images, probably have a little more to work with and it'd probably be fine. But he doesn't look much different in either picture, if I'm honest. The skull looks much tidier actually, and the hat is much cleaner edges, although there is completely wrecked. That's probably the worst one I've seen yet, look at this. Although it's kind of just because it's connecting to this line and it hasn't worked out that it's two different images. But yeah, we'll try one or two more in the game and then I'm going to try a bit more fan art and then do in real life things to see if it's really good on real images. Right, I'm here in Karamja in old school RuneScape and this is how it looks in 2020. You're probably thinking this is probably the best Karamja has looked since old school RuneScape came out, but it's actually not. Three years ago in 2017, some lads released a HD client for old school RuneScape. This was a client that processed everything in the game, but then took some snippets out of RS3, some graphical updates they had had that had come in after 2007 and implemented them into the game. And have a look at this, right? This is three years ago, and there's a friend's video where he's just showcasing this OS HD client. So this was in the game for a while, if you logged in in this client in 2017 and look at the water look at the trees look at the ground everything is just it looks 10 times better if you ask me three years since and jetx have not added any of this into the game they closed down this company that made this client they like offer i think they threatened a lawsuit or something which really sucks i would love them make a deal with them to use this software because i think if people had the choice to play in this like high detail version they probably would some things were broken like lava completely blinds you in the hd version but if you look at the ground if you look at everything around the game it just looks 10 times better so let's see if we can make karamja look a little bit better with this ai software right so i took this image of karamja and whacked her into the thing there and the thing i notice immediately is it's really good even before i've zoomed in at shrubbery, at bushes, at plants, at trees, all that kind of stuff just gets really nice outlines, highlights. Look at how good all that stuff looks compared to these blurry images. 
the rooftops look a wee bit better, the ground looks a wee bit better, the boat and all that has slight improvements, but nothing like the Google RuneScape HD client. It just had everything programmed in. It knew this was water, it knew that was ground, it knew this was wood. I don't know, what do you think of this so far, lads? It's crazy what the software can do. Like, I can't believe it can just add in detail. It can work out what something's supposed to be and make it look like it. It must be really, really smart. Old school RuneScape is not doing it justice. Like, it's not showing how good it can be. If you wanted an image, of somewhere you love an old school runescape to be slightly higher quality sure you can do it for that if you want to make a wallpaper or something fair enough but i think this stuff's going to excel either in making fan art better or maybe in in real life pictures so we're going to try one more of each of them then we're going to call it a day all right here is already a bit of an awesome image it's swamp Lennox. all you probably know about him with all the monsters from theater of blood in the background along with this last, I don't actually know who that is, a skeleton and some other people. So some of these are already blurred on the left hand side and the top right here. And it's kind of picking up on that and not unblurring them. But the main bit that's in focus is Swampletics himself. So if we swap over to the software here and have a look at like his eyes and all. So in the left, if I zoom in here, it's like completely blurred, not much reflection in the eye, but here it's full wrinkles instead of blurs. All the hairs are just way higher detail, way higher quality. And then like the ear and all it tries to add a bit of detail there but it's not really the best thing i've noticed it doing is reflections so like in the hair here you can see all the reflections coming off each piece of the hair where here it's just kind of highlighted so yeah pretty awesome for detail even in drawings and fan art and stuff it just makes everything a little bit better if you want to tidy up a wallpaper i think it's pretty cool i think human eyes probably don't pick up on everything it's doing because all these changes you only really notice if you're zoomed away in like if you zoom it out can't see a big pile of difference between this image on the left and whatever this one finishes processing this one on the right sure it looks a tiny bit more crisp and a little bit cleaner but i think this software is only going to be really useful in the future i don't think it's at the end stage i think there's still a lot to be done on it but yeah it's still pretty impressive I'm gonna do one in real life image to see what it can really do all right so this is an image i took in ireland a few years ago on an old like iphone 5 or something and there it is blown up it's insane the detail if you zoom in anywhere it's noticeable but you can't really notice it when it's that far out here's one of the cat ticking again with an old phone when he was a kitten looks pretty awesome so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed this video it's been very different from our usual ones but I don't think I'll be doing any more of them, unless I find some cool software actually. Yeah, if I find any more cool software, I'll definitely be doing more of these. Hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway, or at least found it interesting. I'll see all you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.